Welcome back trainers and we're going to be taking a look at some more battles in the Ultra Remix here. We're going to be showcasing Shadow Ampharos for the most part. We're going to be pairing it up with a few different Pokemon. We have Palkia, Lapras, Shadow Charizard, and Shadow Lapras. <laughs> I already said Lapras. Alright, so this is going to be a pretty lengthy video and I'm just going to give you a heads up for some reason with my recording software. <laughs> software. Well, maybe the app and then the microphone. The longer the video my voice starts to sound weird there's really nothing i can do uh, but anyways just giving you a little heads up if it sounds like a deep voice and then deep loud voice <laughs> right uh so amphro's shadow is absolutely amazing uh that's as simple as that doesn't even have the pvp ivies lower attack um and again charizard's just going to be putting in that work and if you're thinking whoa 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 i want to know about the palkia well we've done this before in the ultra league uh, it's a pretty interesting spicy pick. Dragon Tail hits like a truck. And then you're going to have uh, the Aqua Tail, which is going to be nice. You can spam it pretty fast. And it's great coverage up against potential Steel types where you're not doing that much damage with your Dragon Tail. And you can go with Fire Blast. I found that I didn't really I uh, use it in the Master League. But as far as this league, it's just so squishy. It's not able to survive long enough. Uh comfortably it's more like just go for aqua tail even if it's not very effective they're going to use a shield yeah, and didn't have that opportunity so we're going to go ahead and switch it to draco meteor down the line the palkia will be showing up towards the end uh but for now we're going to be using this team here now shout out to this guy using the golurk i, I was on twitter saying you know well, where's the spice at everybody and here's some spice i had to include this one because it is quite nice all right so they're going to be catching with their gramble that you know that was well played and I tested out, eh, I don't even know how many teams I tested out, <laughs> but I had a lot of um, pretty wacky leads, so it just didn't work out. You know, when you're using weird Pokemon, you kind of need a, a, a good little jump start, right? Maybe, maybe not. Um, but it was there was no good little jump start ever, so <laughs> I had to go back to something that was kind of solid. Uh, Palkia is pretty interesting here, so let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, they're going for Earth Power, swapping into Sylveon, and we're going to go ahead and bring in Ampharos. As you can see, it's... You know, it is Charm, so Charm does hit everything if you're not resisting it. Uh, even if you're resisting it, it's going to hit a lot, depending on who you are. Uh, but this thing, you know, it's not the tankiest thing around. So we're going for the Thunder Punch here. And as far as the Dragon Pulse, if you're wondering about that, what's going on with the Elite TM, it absolutely not. I evolved it during a time where there was an event. Uh, I don't ex remember exactly which one it was, but I'm pretty sure some of you may recall. Uh, you can involve the Mareep all the way up into Ampharos to get its Community Day move. And I just did it because I wanted to test it out. Didn't really want to TM it away right now. Although having Focus Blast would be so amazing. And they take the win with that Sylveon at the end with that charm. Very nice. Into the next battle. I know I step away from that, but I also know that you all like that. So we are up against a Yavelto with Hurricane. <laughs> I want to keep calling it Hurricane because it looks like a freaking Hurricane. A gust. So we swap into Palkia, shield it up. We've already got a good amount of energy at this point, and they're bringing in the Muck. So Thunder Punch, it's not a Shadow Muck, so, eh, you know, but at this point, we're pretty low, and we're in the Great League. So Palkia in the Great League is kind of squishy. Let's see. Thunder Punch, yeah, look at that. We are part water and also dragon, so it's just kind of neutralized there. We're going to go for an Aqua Tail. As you can see, it does do a lot of damage with that Dragon Tail. It's pretty nice. It's really nice. Uh, so what we're going to do, yeah, I don't know. Bringing the Ampharos and farm down. They're going to go Dark Pulse. And I, I would assume they might have Acid Spray. Dark Pulse, there it is. So we're shielding it up and we're farming all the way down. Holding on to a ton of energy here. And no shields. Okay, so they're bringing in a Heracross. Interesting. So we're going to go straight for the Thunder Punch here. Neutral damage. And they're shielding it up. Swapping into our Charizard instantly. Shields are down. And we're going for the Blast Burn to get this thing out of here. Fantastic. Down goes the Heracross. In comes the Yveltal. And we're able to get to the Dragon Claw. Charizard, again, putting in that work. This thing is my best buddy. I'm going to look for a, the best IV Shadow Charmander I can find when they return. Because I love this thing. I'm going to kind of want to max one out. Anyways, Master League, actually. I don't know about that. We're going to swap into our Palkia because we don't like to see a Snorlax that is not Shadow. Because it is going to be pretty tanky. So swapping, absorbing the body slam, and it pretty much just brings us almost down to red. <laughs> so we're going to go Aqua Tail. They're bringing in a Crobat here. And I do believe, yeah, just let this go. There's no point in shielding it up. Uh, it's going to KO. As a matter of fact, okay, down goes the Palkia, legendary. In comes the Ampharos. Yeah, that's exactly why we did not want a shield. Because we just come in here and farm up. 
Um, expecting another Poison Fang, but it's still going to be doing a good amount of damage. Do not underestimate that Crobat's attack and as well as that stab, all right? Especially if you're running a Shadow without resisting it. And we're going to go immediately for the Thunder Punch here. They're bringing in that Machamp. Great. This is going to be doing a lot of damage still. It's not Shadow Machamp, so it's going to be able to hold itself a little bit better. And we're going to go ahead and swap into our Charizard. While well, Shields are down and start building up energy, they bring back the Snorlax. We're going to go for the Blast Burn and almost take him out. One more, two more quick moves, and they back out. We take the win, looking good into the next one here. What are we going to see for the lead, folks? Charizard all the way. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is as good as it gets here. They're going to instantly swap into a Jellicent, and we're bringing in Ampharos. Perfect. Perfect. Let's see how this does perform here. Going to let this go through just a bubble beam. Okay. Doing less attack now. Yeah, less damage. That's fine. We still have two Thunder Punches ready to go, which is going to threaten them still. We're getting a shield out of them, farming up a little bit more. I think I just overtapped, actually. <laughs> and going for another one here. Oh, that's perfect. Now, what we have to think about is if they bait us again, whatever. We could still survive this with the swap. They're going for an Ice Beam. Okay. Did they go Bubble Beam and Ice Beam? So that's an interesting moveset. Bringing back the... A bomb of snow and this is where that dark or dragon pulse is going to be nice i guess <laughs> focus blast would have been a whole lot better that would have been a ko bring it in the palkia to kind of recover this battle here and we're going to let this go through energy ball it's not going to ko but it oh they're going weather ball yeah i guess that makes sense less energy and still doing quite a bit here easily gonna let this palkia go down because we have charizard they're going to instantly swap all right so the amphros or the amphros the bomb of snow has no health uh, may have a weather ball ready to go so i need to look out for that letting the dragon claw go through going straight for the blast burn because it's just going to do as much damage as we can here swapping into the amphros to take them out and can we get to the thunder punch or we're just gonna oh yeah <laughs> definitely want to get to that we would have been stuck in an animation and they would have taken us out with weather ball because volt switch is so slow taking the win there with the amphros at the end let's see what we're going to be met with this time it's going to be machamp and i love this matchup I love it. I don't care about Rock Slide, and I don't care if they bait. Now, if they go for it, the Cross Chop very fast, and I know it's Cross Chop, then I will let it go through. But if I suspect otherwise, I don't care. All right. So they're going straight Rock Slide and then catching. All right, that's fine. At least we didn't go Blast Burn. So we're going to go ahead and swap here. Now, I, I think I messed up a little bit. I didn't want to get hit by a Solar Beam, but then they use a Shield here. So that's pretty good. We're going to go ahead and let this go through. It is a Blast Burn. Massive resistance because of the Dragon and Water Typing. So let's go. And bringing in a Snorlax here. So as you can see, uh, in the Ultra League, the Fire Blast is not really helping you. Like I said, obviously, if shields are down and you have an open window, well, but Poke. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, that's for sure. But otherwise, it's not. I feel like Draco Meteor would be a little bit better. Uh, so anyways, they're going to be bringing in the Machamp. We're going to go for the Thunder Punch here. We're looking, I think we're looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and take them out. They're still holding on to that shield, swapping into the Charizard. We're going to get off this Dragon Tail immediately. Or Dragon Claw. Uh, Dragon Tail, what am I talking? Imagine Dra Charizard with Dragon Tail. Yikes. Shadow, that sounds pretty good. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and let that go through. In comes the Ampharos. And yes, I was, I guess, not really trying to flex. I just wanted to finish with Ampharos because it's the featured Pokemon. Next battle, we're met with an Umbreon. And yeah, it's going to hurt when they throw their charge moves. But Blast Burn is going to also be doing a ton of damage here. So let's see. They're going to shield it up because they know better. All right. This is a Shadow Charizard. Nobody wants to get hit by that. We're going to go ahead and shield up in return since they've already used up a shield. And uh, nah, we're not going to shield again. We're just going to put on the pressure with the Blast Burns. If they want to double shield it, but I, by all means, be my guest. Uh, that's, I guess, when we're going to be able to use the Blast Burn. <laughs> so I decide to swap to so just start building up energy. They bring in a Machamp here, which is fine. We're going to go ahead and go Aqua Tail. Doing a lot of damage with our quick move. As you can see, Shadow Machamp taking so much because Dragon Tail just hurts. And we're a Palkia here. And um, definitely do not want to use a shield. So down we go. And they are shieldless at this point, so we're going to go ahead and bring in Ampharos because, I don't know, I, do I shield this? We let it go, it's a cross job, okay, alright. And we're taking them out, wow, amazing. So we still have one shield, bring it in a muck, going to go ahead and go for the Thunder Punch here. And you know, if, if it sounds like I'm a little lost on these battles, folks, let me, um, let me just tell you why exactly. Got 100 battles today, a lot. <laughs> and I had so much going on, I completed them all. 
I had no idea where I was at at any point in time of how many battles I did because of all these little things I was trying to do around the house, the laundry, the cooking, the this, the clean, the that, the dog, my son, you know, all these little things. So when it was over, I was like, thank God. <laughs> like, all right, let me go at it. Oh my goodness, thank goodness it's over with. You know, I always won all these battles, but then when we get them, it's like, ugh, you know, it's because it was on a busy day. Uh, and then they have it right before community day. The heck? What's going on here? Why do they do that? Uh, anyways, Aquatail, they're shielding it up. This is a good matchup for us here, right? Still going to take a lot of damage. Oh, but they go... Oh, okay, this is that Sand Tomb one. I wasn't... All right. Wasn't paying attention. I was in my talkie zone. So we're almost to another one. Can we make it? Oh, they're just going to let it go. Okay. They have debuffed us tw two times, and we don't even get off the Aquatail at least. So that sucks. Bring it in the Amphros, and we're still going to be doing a good amount of damage because Dragonite is still going to be flying. We're going to go ahead and shield this up. I just felt like I should have done that. And they have the Escavalier in the back, so yeah. I <laughs> uh, gotta let this... I think go Mega Horn here. Yeah, that's a straight Kamikaze, like... Warrior Cry right there. Fire and Flying type. So we're gonna go straight for the Dragon Claw, and this is going to be it for... Oh, no, no. What am I talking about? Um, getting a little head, bit of ahead of myself. Not paying attention. All right, not quite there. And then Fire Spin, and take the win. All right, sweet. Into the next battle here. What are we going to see? Charizard leading the charge, of course. Another Machamp. We love this one here. This is not Shadow, so it's going to be a taking damage a little bit better than the others. And we will shield this up. It is a bait. That's fine. I don't care. I don't care. Since we are Shadow Charizard, we're doing plenty of damage. We should put it on the pressure. We're going to be able to get to another Dragon Claw. I just swap. Okay. Uh, sometimes I do different strategies, as you can see here. I was all over the place. So they're going to be bringing in a Crobat. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Doing a lot of damage with that Aqua Tail. I love it. And we're expecting a Poison Fang here. Yes, it is. And will we... I want to farm down, but I was getting nervous, so I said, Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Let's just hit the charge move. I want to win swap. They use the shield and we still take them out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no. All right, so we're in a good position here. Machamp does have energy we need to look out for. And there it is. I'm shielding it up regardless, because at this point, they're using all that Rock Side energy. Great. And did they swap to catch? No, they didn't. Okay. Farming them down. What you got on the back? A oh, Gyarados. Okay, instantly swapping into Amphros, and this is instant. Instant death. Crunch is going to do a lot still, though. Or oh, they're just going straight Aqua Tail. Yeah, that makes sense. Why was I thinking Crunch? I'm always, you know, using something that's resisting it, so I wasn't... It's a long day, okay? <laughs> I'm a human. I am not a robot. Okay, <laughs> so next battle, we're met with the Crobat. I don't like this thing. Like, I love Crobat as a Pokemon, but going up against it, it's stinking good. So they swap into a Dermanitan. This threw me the heck off. All right, so what are they going to hit me with? A Psychic. So it does a lot of damage. I was thinking I would be able to take it a little bit better. I didn't know what they are going to hit me with, but whatever they did hit me with... Uh, well, <laughs> Dramatitan said you're you're uh, on water. I don't care. And they're bringing in Crobat, and we are wasting the Aqua Tail. We didn't even get to the Aqua Tail. Bring it in the Amphros to handle this situation here. Amphros says, all right, guys, step aside. What we got going on here? What's in the back? Show me a water. It's an Umbreon. Okay. Uh, this is not particularly bad. This, actually, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is pretty bad. I don't... I, we can't win this. Uh, they have two shields and an Umbreon. How is the hell is this going to... Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just shield up the Amphros because I figure this is the tankiest thing I have. Might as well keep it alive. So we're getting some shields going in here with the Dragon Claw. Or are we? Or are we, folks? Charizard, what did I tell you? Nobody wants to see a Blast Burn. Dark Pulse, oh my goodness. And we survive. Okay. That was too close for comfort. Let's go ahead and see if we can uh, shut this thing down. No. And we go in and take the win. Let's get it. <laughs> All right. Into the next one. Good games. Oh, my goodness. That damn Digimon. All right. So if you're not aware, I do have a second channel where I actually mess around with these, you know, Digimon, the V-Pets from back in the day. And what you just heard really quick. We'll get back into this. Sorry. I just got to say because these things, I, I play with them constantly, like. It's just like my number one hobby. Almost, almost more than Pokemon Go. Um, but anyways, I bought a couple of the old ones from the 90s, from 97. And uh, I have Numemon on one and I have Greymon on the other. And um, I'm trying to get the ultimates, but I think I failed with the Numemon because it constantly has the hard straining like every 30 minutes. So I'm pretty sure I failed. Yeah. 
All right, anyways, let's get back into this here. This is a horrible situation. We're going to go ahead and build up energy and swap into the Charizard. We're not shielding this up. It is a Night Slash, which is neutral. It doesn't even really do that much damage, even to a Shadow here. Uh, but if they get the boost, that's another story. They're swapping into their own Charizard. We're going to go straight Blast Burn. I know. I know. Let's see if we can land it, though. Wait, are... Yeah, they have one shield, and we have no shields. We're getting to a Dragon Claw, but they get to theirs first. And take us out, of course. Going in with Ampharos, we're taking them out. We have a lot of energy, though, so it's not over yet. But yeah, it is over yet. It's over, and there's no way. <laughs> in my dreams, right? Well, it gets close. Check it out. So we go for Dragon Pulse here. And, um, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm playing the best I could, I suppose. Maybe could have done something better. But if you take a look at somebody's battle and then you scrutinize it, which is fine, you know, you can point out things where uh, mistakes were made with, that could be recovered. But, you you know, for almost all, all battles, unless they were hard countered completely, you could definitely tell anybody, even somebody who's a professional. I, 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 there's no professionals at this game. There's people who play it a lot. And then there's people who understand the mechanics to some degree and the exploits. There's no pros. Professionals. Come on. We just play a game a lot. Okay. All right, anyway, so a lot of people are going to probably get real metal, like steaming out the ears right now. <laughs> How dare you? Uh, so we're up against the Tang Growth. Oh, what, what? Wow, yeah, I was a surprise when it did that too. Okay. So getting that off before we just waste energy. Wow, that was yikes. Bringing in Charizard here, and we're just going to go for that Dragon Claw. See so if we get a shield. Yes, we can. And there is, what? There's no more shields left on there, and I have one... What do I want to do? Shield this up and farm down? I think that's the plan. I'm a crazy man. And, I mean, they got an Escavalier in the back. So we just go straight Blast Burn. And you already know. One shot in it. Charizard, again, pulling the win at the end for us. Let's go. Man, that Power Whip. Palkia just straight got a big old lash on his booty. All right, so we're going to go up against the Crobat here. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and let this Poison Fang go. Oh, no, no, shielding out. Never mind. So shield up the first one, double these, and then we want to maybe swap into our Palkia. We're just going all the way. After this one, we want to swap. Because we want to keep the Charizard light. We always do. Well, not always, but I like to. Because it seems like to always be useful on the back. Uh, a lot of the times. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and take that. Unfortunately, they're going to be dropping our defense and swapping. And I look like, I mean, I'm always trying to go for the Blast Burn. As you can see, I'm always tapping next to it. But it's like, ah, it's unrealistic. And we're there, but they're going to shield, so might as well just go for, like, three of these, right? But watch. They let it go, of course. But there's always that fear of wasting all that energy. Th this isn't the Master League. I'm not going to have that squishy, you know, cushion space that the Palkia is going to have with more CP in a comfortable league. Nah, -uh, not here. <laughs> this thing's going down quick. So we're going to get off another Aqua Tail. We still want... <laughs> we have no shields, though. Uh, Machamp. All right, so bringing in the Ampharos here. Okay, so this is a pretty risky thing here. Well, I mean, it's not risky, but it's just getting down to the wire. We're going to go ahead and go for the Thunder Punch on that Machamp. They got one shield left, using it up. Great. Getting to another one. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about this one, guys. And we swap and take out the Machamp. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know what I was talking about. All right, into the next battle, we're going to be seeing a Excadrill. Okay, that's interesting. So I've had this matchup before. We're, I mean, just doing a ton of damage with our fire spin. Absolutely going to be shielding up this rock side. I mean, that's on one shot, you easy. They're swapping into a Gyarados, so we're going to go ahead and bring in Ampharos. We're not going to mess this up again. So they're definitely not shielding a thing up. So we're going to just farm them down because they're just going to bring in Excadrill. Or never mind, Sylveon. Oh, wow. That was smart. I wonder if they knew I was going to do that. Okay, so... They bring in something to protect them from possibly Focus Blast, right? Because I had all that energy. So, well played on that. So, we're just bringing in Charizard. They have two shields left, but at this point, the Fire Spins are just going to be able to outpace. I throw that just to put on pressure, and then I... Oh, I... <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Okay, I need to get my head in the game here. Uh, Palkia... <laughs> we got a Palkia, a whole Palkia in the back here with, uh, you know, just hanging out. Hi, guys. How's it going? <laughs> And then we actually let the Palkia go. I, yeah, we could have shielded it up, but I just wanted to. Wasn't trying to flex, just like to finish it off with the old trusty Charizard Shadow. We take the win there. Looking good. Into the next battle. What are we going to see for the lead again? Okay, there we go. There's some spice. Uh, was it Duplex? 
right? Duplex. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just go straight Blast Burn. They tried to um, catch a Dragon Claw because it was fire versus fire, right? The logical thing is to go for Dragon Claw. So that was a smart catch they were trying to do, but I just went straight Blast Burn. I didn't know they were going to swap. It was just a nice coincidence. We're able to take them out. In comes the Crobat. We're going to instantly swap into our Ampharos because they are still locked in. Their Switch Clock is not up, and it's just not going to be up for a minute here. So we're just going to bring this in because, well, good matchup, right? And, uh, yeah, we're looking fantastic. We got the Palkia to handle the fire, so uh, we're going to let the... I think we shield this up. Not necessary. Could have just let this go, bring in Palkia, and handled it, no problem. But I just wanted to have a little fun with the Ampharos, I guess. Getting a shield out of them, the last one. And they're going to be farming us down, which is perfectly fine. We're going to bring in Charizard again, just to kind of put on more pressure. I'm just messing around here. I don't know. Um, <laughs> and uh, we're just letting it go through. Bring in Palkia. You already know what it is. Go for that flame charge, taking us out, Dragon Tail, and then Crobat. We're going to get to an Aqua Tail. We're shielding no matter what. Doesn't matter what they have here. I don't care. I, just, I can't risk it. You know, next thing I know, I let it go through trying to flex, and it is a Shadow Ball, right? So I was being a little silly by holding one point of the screen there. We take the win. All right, what are we going to see for the next one? Eh, oh my goodness. Yeah, that's just great. And this Cavalier. So they're swapping into a Typhlosion. We're going to go ahead and bring in the old Palkia. And, well, that was really quick, so we're going to let it go through. So what's going to happen here? All right, so we're Palkia. Like I said, we're squishy here. I wasn't joking when I said that. We should have a bigger resistance to that, but we're, you know, so CP attack heavy that it's still digging in because our stat product hasn't been fully developed with its CP, right? So, uh, yeah, I was thinking, geez, I thought that would be a little bit more comfortable, but all right, we're, we're coming out of here with energy. I suppose it's not the worst case. Actually, quite a bit of energy. Two of these Aqua Tails, as a matter of fact. So we're going to go for one. Oh, wait. Did we have two, or they just took us out before we were able to get it off? So we do all this, all this weird swapping and swooping and swooshing and the old swap -a -roo. And um, it was Ampharos versus Gyarados, and then they just backed out. All right. We have a bad lead here. Swapping into Palkia. And I think we have Draco now. Going for Ice Beam. Okay. And swapping into a Mewtwo. Draco Meteor, it is. So I said, the heck with that. I'm sick of Fire Blast. I'm never using it. So we just go for that. The first time I use it, it gets shield. I suspect that. I mean, we were building up a lot of energy. So it's not like something out of the blue to shield that up. All right. So I'm listening to the audio. And this is one of the reasons why I don't make long videos anymore. I can't. It sounds. It doesn't sound good to me. Maybe it sounds normal to you because you're just used to it. But I just. I know it could be so much more clear. But uh, me pointing it out is just going to make you notice it now, huh? Yeah, that was uh, probably not. <laughs> so we're going to be swapping into our Ampharos. As soon as they bring in that Jellicent, let's get it. This is what I was waiting for. Shield her down. Ampharos is going to go to Funky Town. All right, so we're going to see a Machamp behind them. And we're going to go for another Thunder Punch here. Dragon Pulse is... I don't know. It's like... I just, it's like the last resort move. <laughs> uh, if you're like going up against a pure dragon, I suppose. Uh, when shields are down. So we're going to be able to farm them down. Go straight for the Blast Burn. With the Charizard, of course. No, with the Eagle. <laughs> with with the, the Palkia. All right, with the Charizard and taking the win here. All right, into this next battle, we're going to be seeing a amazing lead. We're going to be seeing a swap into a Magnezone. Now, I am going to give you a little sneak peek. This entire team is weak to fire. That doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything about the trainer. So... Uh, they could just be having fun, and also, this team could cover fire to some degree. Granted, Shadow Charizard is a bit squishy if it was Shadow Ninetales. It might be a little bit different, a little bit more difficult for them. But, um, you could still maneuver around that kind of stuff. It's, you know, maybe they even wanted a challenge. So what you're seeing in the back there is going to be Registeel. Alright, so grab some popcorn, folks. Later, after this, when I'm done while this video is editing, it's pretty dark outside, but I'm going to go for a walk anyways. I still like walking. I don't care. I really have no fear of things, of people or animals or anything. I mean, I have fear, but I don't let it control me. I, I go out anyways. And I'm also in Alaska. <laughs> it's not like uh, you got to look out for somebody jumping you. Actually, you do, depending on where you live. Anyway. Wow, what the hell was I talking about? It looks like we're winning this. <laughs> I'm gonna Basically, I'm going to make popcorn after this with my son. I make the popcorn on the stove. We don't. I don't have a microwave, so it's just going to be like that old style shaky, shaky, shaky. I need to get a popcorn machine. Go for a walk and have fun, play some games, maybe watch a movie. 
Uh, anyway, so... Uh, Scrafty, shielding that up. Great. All right, sounds good to me. We're going to go straight for the Dragon Claw after building up to Blast Burn here. We're getting a shield. Great. Okay, so I think I found a way to regulate the sound here, folks. Uh, basically, every time I stop recording and then start, I have to face my head down, speak directly into it a little loud. So sorry if it's starting off loud every time I start. <laughs> but it seems to kind of keep it going. Anyways, we're up against a Crobat here. We got a long video. Do I need to keep the commentary going every second, right? We, we started this back in the day. We're really good at it now. I mean, you know, got to talk my way through this this uh, this commentary here. Keep you entertained at the same time by not just talking about the battles, right? So we're going to be bringing in Ampharos, of course. Letting that go through. They have lowered our attack and, or I mean, they're our defense. We're going to let another one go through, no problem. And they have a Skarmory in the back. Are you serious? Ampharos, get him, boy. Get him. Let's go. Take out that XL Skarmory. Yeah. Show him what we do. All right. So we're looking good, right? Even with lower defense, we're resisting that. In comes the Crobat and Ampharos <laughs> knocks it down and says, go. All right. Into the next battle. What are we going to see? A Oh, uh, Steelix. This is uh, great. Um, I mean, yeah, it, it, it's great. And there's nothing. I don't know. I'm trying to think of something. What moves it has? Uh, yeah, no, this is fine matchup. It's just a bit bulky here, and they keep shielding. Like, if I bait and they let it go, it's annoying. And it's going to do hardly any damage. So I have to keep going Blast Burn. That's the problem. So we get both shields, but they can take us out here. So, mm, what do we do? Are we going to be able to farm down? Yes, we can. Let's get it. We got him. We're going to instantly swap for whatever reason. I have no idea. To... <sighs> And they bring in a Gramble, and it's um, not looking good for us. But wow, that Aqua Tail takes it down to about 75%. Well, 25% left. It did about 75%. Bringing in the Ampharos, and we're just uh, below half after a couple of charms. They have a Mew in the back. We're going to go ahead and go with the Thunder Punch. Remember Charizard's energy? Remember how Charizard keeps coming in and just taking out Pokemon with like 1 HP? That's going to be a trend. That is going to be a trend. So they're throwing their energy here, which they kind of needed to do. And then we're going to bring in the Charizard. And you already know, Dragon Claw and taking the win. It's got about 2 HP there. Not quite one. Not quite there. But you know what I mean. All right. So good game. On to our next opponent. We're going to be seeing what? A hard counter lead with Escavalier. We're going to be seeing that Gyarados swap in. We're going to go ahead and bring in our Ampharos. And let this go through. No problem. I expect they're going to come back in here with their Escavalier and then farm us down. And then we're just going to throw a bunch of Thunder Punches and then bring in Charizard and I, they're going to swap. We're going to see what's in the back and see what we, we're going to be able to handle with Palkia here. All right, so there is that Escavalier, as we said. And then as soon as we get these off, we're not going to swap. We're, I mean, we can't anyways, never mind. <laughs> the clock's not up. All right, so we'll bring in this. There would be no point to swap, so I just go in with the... Uh, Palkia, because I already knew they were going to do this, and they have a Gengar in the back, okay? So we're going to be able to do a ton of damage with Dragon Tail. Look at that. And they they, they realize, wait, wait, what? Say what again? <laughs> Dragon Tail does how much? All right, so into the next battle. Good game to my last opponent, Mandibuzz. Haven't seen one of these in a while. And we do have the Afro, so I don't have to commit to this Charizard all the way. Uh, it's not like we have anything in the back week to it anyways, either. So, and landing that... That was that. That's pretty good, right? That's that's pretty good to land that right there. So we're going to continue on here. Swap into our Palkia, and I kind of wanted them to swap. There we go. Great. And they're bringing in a Venusaur, so not great, really. Not not a, not not too great for me here. So that's good though. <laughs> Getting a hey, that was a blast burn. You should have yep. You should have definitely protect yourself. Could have been a blast burn there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and bring in Charizard, of course, because what we're going to bring in Ampharos. Uh, so go in for the Dragon Claw immediately here before they go for a Frenzy Plant because that will KO us. Yes, of course it will. And we are farming down. Great. Immediately swapping into our Ampharos. And we will shield this up. We have two shields. We do not need to get greedy with it. And what you got in the back, it is going to be a Poly... Oh, there we go. You know what? Yeah, Politoed, you know, nothing against the trainer, but Politoed, you? This is what you get. This is revenge for everything you've done to my team's. Antfros, do your worst. <laughs> a 
like I said, there's nothing against the trainer. I'm just being silly, right? I have to say that because we're living in a world where everybody cries about everything, okay? Not because it hurts their feelings, but because they want attention. Anyways, we're going to be seeing a Magnezone. Oh, double-edged sword here, I suppose. But what they can do is bait us with mere shot. Knew it. Mm -hmm. Well played. Yeah, you got me. And if they let this go through, I'm going to laugh because, yeah. Oh, all right. So they could have gone to another one. Maybe Charizard could have taken him out. And I'm saying I would have laughed because they still have two shields. And now they're just kind of running the show-ish. If I bring in Charizard, we have energy. So we'll figure it out here. Palkia obviously, obviously does not want to see it. So since they've locked their silly on here... That's good for us, all right? Because Palky is not going to have to see it unless they swap when I bring in my Charizard for some reason here. Well, for some reason, as if it's a good matchup for them. <laughs> all right, uh, I think we do want to shield this. Yeah, Psyshock. Was fearing that they might have another one. Be yeah, I just wasn't counting. So we're just going to go Dragon Claw. We get a shield out of them. Great. They're swapping into a Typhlosion. And can we? There's no way that this is Solar Beam. Yeah. Yeah, Blast Burn, great. So since they used their energy, we're going to go ahead and farm a little bit more because we're going to need that for Sylveon. We're going to have the Palkia take out the Fairy here. And we're able to get to it and take the win with a Palkia up against a Fairy. Okay. That happens. Nice. Looking good. Thanks, big guy. All right. Let's go. Into the next one. Oh, we have the new team here. So this was going to be my last battle. So we're getting close to the end of the video. About seven more minutes here. Actually, like five more minutes of actual gameplay. So this is a good matchup here, uh, Shadow Lapras. We've seen it before, we've used it before. It's a tank as it is already. Shadow, it's gonna be losing a little bit of bulk, but it's still tanky. And we paired up with the Venusaur, as well as the Ampharos. Found this team to be pretty fun. This is a good situation here. They're gonna be letting it go through. And since we're not Shadow, we're not gonna be taking all this damage. We'll let the Ice Beam go through comfortably, no problem. That's not Stab. Jellicent doesn't really have the best attack ever. And they're bringing in a Crobat, figures. We're going to go ahead and go Sludge Bomb. It's going to be doing the most damage because it's not going to be resisted by the Flying. Just the Poison, and look how much damage it did anyways. The Crobat Shadow, granted. So, uh, bringing in Ampharos here. We will shield this up. Eh, you know, had to play it safe. There's a Pokemon, one Pokemon in the back, and it's Water. So, it's a good thing we did that, Suicune. Sorry, buddy, have nothing against you, but uh, you know what it is. Ampharos, to make, make it easy on him. And he did. All right. Moving it on to the next battle. Let's see what we're going to be met with. And Oh, Articuno. This is good. Okay, so they're going to instantly swap into a Sylveon. We're going to go ahead and bring in that Venusaur. Have a little fun with the poison. Okay. <laughs> I'm in a goofy mood, man. When I have these long videos, what else am I going to do sitting here? <laughs> and we all we trying to farm down there. So we're going to let that go through. Yeah, there's no need to shield it up. The Venusaur did what it needed to do. Articuno, huh? Yeah, Venusaur said, yeah, yeah, and... <laughs> Sludge Bomb Shield? Nope. Yeah, that's yeah, I don't think that was worthy of the shield. Did a lot of damage though still. The little chip before it does go down. And bring it in the Lapras here. Icy Wind, lowering our attack, swapping into Gramble. Contemplating in that split second of going for this charge move, if I should have done that. We get a shield, so great. That's perfect. It doesn't matter if our attack is was dropped. We got a shield. Bring it in the Amphros here. And I think we're, no, no, we're not at the clear yet. So I was getting nervous to the fact that we, we were not taking those charms well, right? That charm is just chunking us out of here. And we're going to go ahead and take them out. And now we have secured the win. All right. So we're going to go ahead and bring in the Lapras here, going for the Surf. This should KO, right? Yeah, definitely KO the, La the Articuno. Oh, no, one more quick move. Okay, then we take the win. Thought that something like that happened. All right, into the next battle with the Lapras lead for the entire end of this video here. The entire end. What is that? The remainder of the video. <laughs> and we will be shielding this up because we just want to preserve our health. Building up a lot of energy. Hey, this is a Skull Bash. I hope you shield this up. Yeah, you know, you got. it's better to be safe than sorry. Going to go ahead and go for another Surf here because we've already committed to this. Might as well just keep going down this line. Although we could have gone to a Skull Bash there. You know, the woulda, coulda, shoulda nonsense. Going to go ahead and let that go through. Still surviving Lapras, as you can see, is a tank. But then again, Armor Mewtwo's attack has dropped from its regular Mewtwo form. So uh, they have a Polyrath. Now, here's the thing about Polyrath that I love lately. Is the fact that its Ice Punch isn't really around too much. Well, it can be absent. Because before it was what? 
dynamic punch, ice punch, strictly pretty much. Maybe the occasional hydro pump. But now it's like scold and dynamic punch. And <laughs> without that ice punch, it really puts them in a bad position. So we're going to go ahead and swap into our Ampharos up against their Caesar here, Shadow. We do resist the steel, but the dark is neutral, obviously. And this is actually going to be the last battle here, folks. So if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Turn notifications on. I'll be keeping you up to date. Hope you did enjoy this video. And I'll be catching you all next time. Take care, trainers. services will be unavailable until tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. when the purge concludes. Fantastic.